All right, we're going to tie a little uh, Prince Nymph variation. Um, real simple tie. We've got a Mustad C49S hook on, on the vise, a uh, 3.2 mil bead. And I'm just going to secure that bead with some uh, 015 lead free wire, like seven or eight turns. Just wiggle those to break them off. And when you shove that up, it really centers the bead on the hook. <clears throat> just got some black thread. I've got the Viva 16 knot, but don't feel like you need to use 16 knot for this fly. And I'm going to tie the fly, I'm going to tie the thread down to about right here on the bend of the hook. Now, a lot of times when I'm tying on a scud hook like this or a curve shank hook, what I like to do when I'm tying in the tails is I like to adjust it like this so that I can really work. Uh, kind of more evenly to tie these tails in. Uh, we're going to tie in a biot tail. Today we've got brown biots. Uh, you probably saw that we posted a picture of a purple fly uh, in this model. It works really well. We're going to do more of a traditional just print snoop. Alright, so I have the biot <clears throat> and I like to tie them in uh, one at a time just so I can get them just where I want them to be. So I want I want to make sure that the curve is facing me. So it's it's essentially curving out toward me. If you tie it in the other way, the tails will basically touch each other and they won't splay out. So I want these tails to be a little bit shorter than the the, the length of the body. So I'm just going to hold it in place and just tie it in with a couple wraps of thread. That's a little bit too long, so I'm just going to take my biot and pull it couple more wraps I'm really going to lock it in place um, take the next biot and tie it in so I tied that one in a little bit long I'm just going to pull it to length and now we've got the the biots tied in adjust the length a little bit more and uh, at this point I'm going to adjust the the hook in the vise how it should be sitting now I'm going to take those and I'm going to wrap wrap them all the way up to where the lead starts so that will help with my transition. Cut that off. Um, now the body of this fly is just going to be mylar. It's going to be, uh, I'm using UTC large pearl tinsel. And for a ribbing I'm going to use the UTC uh, amber colored thread in small size. So again I'm going to tie that in right behind the lead. Okay, I'm just going to wrap this back right to where the tails start. Now when I bring the thread up I'm going to make sure that there's a good transition from the lead to where all the materials are tied in so there's not a big bump right there. Alright, I'm going to just take this mylar, wrap it forward, tie it off. I'm going to take the wire and do the same thing, just kind of barber pull it up the mylar. And you notice I'm tying it right up to, to where the bead is because uh, if you if it's too skinny up here, when you tie in the biots that go over the body, they're going to kind of sink in and your biots are going to kind of point more at a 45 degree angle up instead of back over the, the fly. Alright, we're going to take two pieces of peacock now, and I've already trimmed the ends. And I'll just tie in where I, I've trimmed those. Um, just kind of get those tied in and then just wrap a real nice and easy thorax. I used two at a time when I tied that in. And now we're ready to, to tie in the biots over the top of the body. Now when we tie these biots in, we're gonna want to we're gonna want them to curve down over the body and not stick up. So again, I like to tie these in one at a time. So there are two ways that you can tie these biots in. You can tie them in crossed like this to tie them in kind of Prince Nymph style or you can tie them in one at a time. I really prefer to do it one at a time because I, I feel like I have more control. So I'm just going to take it. I'm going to make sure 
that it's the right length. I usually like the tip of the biot to be touching right about the, the end of the body. And just a real slight angle. Just two or three wraps. Take the other one. Just two or three wraps so you see how that's that's been tied in. Now I like to, to bring the biots back now and lock them in place with some wraps in front of the biots and then get in real tight with some good scissors. The razor scissors are really good for this and just cut those off. You can see that's that's not the best looking junction between the bead and the fly so I'm going to take just a little bit of dubbing and clean that up. I'm just going to take a little bit of Arizona synthetic dub in peacock color. When I say a little bit it's just tiny amount enough to cover up the thread. Just gonna give it a couple turns. And that's pretty much it. I'll just whip finish. There you go. There's your uh, print snip variation. Very simple fly to tie, and uh, you can mess with the colors all you want. Just change the colors of the biots, the wire, the the peacock, and the dubbing.